Hi, I'm Martin Parsons. Leslie Taylor has kindly invited me to her studio to talk about what's new this season. Hello, uh, I'm Leslie Taylor. I'm a three-dimensional artist based here in Warnham in West Sussex. I specialise in the production of three-dimensional pieces like you see here. Uh, always brilliant white with a splash of colour. There are some people that would have you believe that that's because I'm a control freak and I like to dictate where you look in my work. I like to think it's just because um, the splashes of colour are what make people smile. On this wall here, we have some of my quite popular construction pieces. This one, particular one, is called London Lunch, featuring guys on a girder, inspired by the 1930 picture of the chaps in America eating their lunch on a girder. Uh, this is my modern take on it. Um, I've also got quite a selection here for you to see. Um, Absolutely Crackers series has been a popular series. This one's called Plucky Duck, or Plucky Duck, if you come from Manchester. Um, the duck trying to pluck up the courage to leap into the water. I've also up here got uh, one of my beach hop pieces. You won't be able to see the detail from where you are, but maybe we'll show you a close-up um, of a rather portly gentleman um, sunbathing and at a time of the year when the pe other people in the scene would suggest he's probably not warm enough for his, his dress code. Um, this is my final remaining um, camper van piece. This is called Pretty Splitty, based on a split screen camper van. Um, extremely popular. So this is a piece called Coco Van from my Van Rouge series. This has been a particularly popular series. I don't know whether just the public have such an affiliation with red wine, uh, I want to reassure you that no wine was harmed in the production of this piece. Uh, this is actually created using one of the products I use, uh, resin. So here we've got the card school. This is a couple of guys um, blissfully unaware that they have knocked a can of paint over. This was my very first series was based on a drip um, and it served me well. Welcome to my workshop. This is where I do some of the more dusty and dirty work. Um, I'll create most of my clay-based work in the um, studio that you've just seen. So if we look at this little fella, he's work in progress, but I wanted to show you the other stages of the, uh, the production process. When I'm happy with the figure that I've produced, um, I'll generally cut them into sections and then create a silicon rubber mould of each of those sections. It's the mould then that's, that is the important part in this, because this allows me to produce more than one version of the figure that I've spent many hours creating. I'll pour liquid resin in these moulds and what comes out at the end of the day um, will be a range of figures in the sections that I've cut the clay up into um, and they then have to be put back together, cemented, sealed. What it does mean is I can create sort of slightly different um, bodies from the same pieces. So for example, Ray here, sadly they all have names, uh, those are the legs that I sculpted Ray in. If I want to create a different figure, I can just put a different set of legs on. So each figure looks different. That's how I can keep each piece unique. Well, we're working on some construction pieces. I obviously have a bit of a thing for builders because they have been a common denominator throughout uh, my career as an artist. These pieces uh, will be called the Mistakes and Ladders series. And they feature teams of builders uh, with the usual catastrophes that characterise my work. So what I'm going to show you is how I create these tiny little um, scaffold clips for the piece that you've, uh, you've been shown. The scaffold clips seem like an unnecessary little detail, but actually, for me, that they, they are an important detail. They're an important little feature that I like to include. So first things first, I'm going to trim a thin strip off the aluminium. I've done that already. Um, so I've got a piece of aluminium. I've got to now create uh, a round clip uh, which will then be included in the scaffold piece. So first of all, I'm going to wrap the aluminium. It's reasonably pliable, but it's not, it's not really um, soft as such. I'll wrap it around a piece of the what, what will be my scaffold plank, pinch it together, Get the tin snips out again and clip it off. So I've got the makings of the clip there. 
And my next step is to very carefully, and I'm not always that careful, drill a hole. My workbench instantly looks like Swiss cheese because it's got holes all over it. So I've got what now looks more like a scaffold clip. Just need to trim it so it's not sharp at the edges. File it off with a file and in a typical piece like the one, uh, the mistakes and letters piece, I'll maybe use 200 of those. 